And as the news continues, stakeholders have decried the low rate of women, youth, and persons with disabilities representation in governance in Nigeria. This observation was highlighted at public dialogue and technical engagement on inclusive governance organized by the National Institutes of Legislative and Democratic Studies in collaboration with the West Minister Foundation for Democracy. The call for women, youth, and persons with disabilities inclusiveness has continued to reverberate across all sections of the Nigerian society since the return of democracy in 1999. Director General NLDs, Professor Abubakar Suleiman, and the Country Director, West Minister Foundation, Adibawali Olorumboa, represented by the Program Coordinator, explains why the dialogue is essential for the country at this particular time. For instance, several political party meetings take place at night, in line with what has come to be accepted as the continuous component of a contemporary Nigerian political action. Imagine the implication of a married woman attending a political party meeting throughout the night. Even for a married woman, it is a recipe for social profiling, stereotyping, and stigmatization. Another issue is the exorbitant cost required to run for elective offices. Sometimes being nominated by a political party requires the payment of a huge amount of money to obtain the nomination for, obtain specific commitment from political parties in ensuring that their structure, system, and operations are conducive for women representations and electability to appoint and elected positions. Four, and finally, to agree on an actionable plan to be collectively implemented by the stakeholder to realize our oh, regard. Mr. Jibzali, we're talking about this. We need to learn more about the language. The new parties need to learn more about direct language, direct process for personal disability to be part of the process. And lastly, it's also the fact that uh, we have a very large population of young persons in our country. There is no way we will be able to make any progress in our democracy, in our economy, and in every other aspect of our life as a country without adequate participation of young persons. Stakeholders and civil society groups also contributed to the discourse by suggesting unless the issues of women, youth, and persons with disabilities exclusion is tackled from the rules, the situation will persist. We need our political parties to go and have their reforms where we will ensure that we stop to have single gender lists for our electoral offices, especially our legislative offices. How can we, as a nation, with about 50% of our population being women, and then we decide to underutilize the potentials of half of the population? We are likely to go nowhere because it is only when women are properly empowered, and of course our youth are encouraged, that is where Nigeria can develop to also listen to us. We need to encourage members of the disability community to be part of political party activities and involve actively. And when it is time for vote, we should vote for candidates with disabilities because we have the potentials, we have the capacity. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.